Hello, Sagittarius. Well, this looks like the kind of connection where all you have to do is just reach out and grab it. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Sagittarius Tarot reading. It's a general reading, often between two energies. Sometimes it gets a little more complicated. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. Wow. Actually never gotten that card in a general reading. Number 21, plant seeds of intention. Go, grow, glow, it says there on the bottom. The thin, thin veil, number 36, reduces to a nine. Let go and let glow. Look at that. Go, grow, glow. Let go, go, and let glow, glow. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. This is telling me that someone is an instant manifester. Whether you realize it or not, someone is an instant manifester. That what you want is very close to the fingertips. If you just plant the seeds of intention, if you intend what it is you truly desire and you're very clear and specific about it. Okay, this, 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 this is one thing that I notice people kind of mess up with manifestation. It's, it's I want X, Y, Z perfect relationship, blah, 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 kind of thing. But no one gives a timeline. Like, I want that to arrive in my life within the next 30 days. And it needs to look like this, 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 and this. And make sure you include the main things that are the most important to you in connection. Even if you get insecure thinking what you're asking for might be a little superficial, it's like you'd, you'd be surprised. Just ask for the thing. <laughs> Just ask for the thing. Okay. Show me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. Ooh. Two of Wands are underneath. Five of Cups. Tower. Scorpio energy. Wheel fortune. Ace of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Ah, I see what happened. Three of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Okay. This was a love connection that was lost that was so close to materializing. It was right there. It was, it was right there. Oh, I see my picture is pulsating. Glad I'm taking a look, glancing up from time to time. Give me just a second, guys. See. There we go. I hope that hadn't been going on the whole time. If it has, I'm sorry. I'm glad I caught it this early. Okay. So this this is a connection that has been lost. Five of Cups is, is the situation between you. I'm going to read this side as you said this as the person you're connecting with. This is a situation between you. The situation has changed. It has been lost. Okay. Um this person is noting that they weren't really given that they were rationed your energy that they were rationed they were they were they were a lot of readers say breadcrumb sure but the, this is telling me rationed like you really already gave your energy to everything else first kind of thing um this person has exited your life with a broken heart and with broken heart and everything, the whole set, okay, um, there's, which was quite the surprise to you, which was quite the surprise to you, because not only did it surprise you, it, it's, it's also one of those, it's that realization of, wait, now that this has happened, that this disconnect has happened, what is it that, why am I having these feelings? Why, why are these feelings surfacing? Did I have them the whole time? Why didn't I see them before? 
it's it's because it was right there. It was right there. It's like all you had to do was say yes and it would have poof. Okay. And that's all I would have taken, which is telling me this is a substantial connection. Okay. When it's, when it's something like that, when the universe sets up something like that to win and it, and it loses, it's shit that hurts. <laughs> it, it does. It does. Um, It'd be an age gap here. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo energy. There's something here about um, oh, was that it? So that age gap bit. Um, this is an example. Um, there was a taboo in the way of some kind. A significant age gap is an example of a taboo. Like say if you're 15 years apart or whatever you guys think is taboo. Um, there's something here where it's like, uh, I can't go with this person. How will it look? Fear of how it will look. There's, there's also, there's also an, that's not an insecurity. What is it? I mean, it's all based in fear. So let's just say that there, there's also a bit of, there's an not so underlying fear about the level of attraction. Okay. So I could see this really like, say, for example, if you two both worked in entertainment and there was that whole age gap thing, it's like, you could be talking yourself out of this connection because like, oh, look, it's another old man and another young woman kind of blah, 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 that Hollywood shit. For example, just an example, um, that it's that kind of that stereotype, that taboo. OK, um, but the thing is, what looks like is upon losing this connection, you are then surprised with your feelings about this person. There is the desire to start over, sure. I feel like they helped you build something. I feel like they helped you build something. Let's get into the situation. Whoop, two of Wands falling off the bottom. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, they're gone. Show me the Five of Cups. Let's expand on this situation to get the details. Hierophant, Taurus Energy. Nine of Wands, seven, seven of Pentacles. Okay, so the masculine here, which I am getting, as you said, um, gave yourself permission to. I heard the word stonewall, but to block this person. This one's Death card of Scorpio. There. Okay. Ah oh, shit. Okay. I, I just heard with the Death card suffocating it to death. Okay, so. You you really pump the brakes on this. This was I'm, this this feels twin flamey. Um, and now with that four of wands in the middle of that, it's like he, you could have reflected negative energy to her, and then she started reflecting it back to you, kind of thing. Because. That's what we tend to do. It grew to a certain point where it was comfortable. It was okay. And then it was just like, okay, now it could only, this is the permission. It could only go up to the nine of wands, seven of pentacles. It could only stay right there. Cause that's what I'm comfortable with. Okay. Um, but this, this limitation on this connection did kill it. Okay, it, it did. He, you, he, you can't put a cap on a twin flame. You can't. Sorry. You just can't. It is an undeniable, earth-shattering sort of connection in good ways and in bad ways. Because it teaches us so much. Okay. So to try to control, to cap it? Nah. That's why the tower, my friend. 
Show me the tower, the Scorpio energy here. Show me the tower. Sun. Yeah. Damn. Oh, shit. Okay. Eight of Swords. Six of Swords, High Priestess. Card of... Oh, damn. Realizing what made you happy. Okay. The fire of the tower. Shining light here on what it is you didn't see about this person, but you now know. You wouldn't allow yourself to see, but you now know without a doubt. Okay, show me the Ace of Cups. Show me the Ace of Cups. King of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles up here. Eight of Wands. King Cup, yeah, Scorpio, yeah, you want to talk to them as soon as possible. Because now you realize, oh shit, it's love. It's not attraction. It's not heavy chemistry. Twin, twin flame kind of stuff has all of that. Which is what makes it a great thing and a terrible thing. Because if one, if one twin is not aligned and causing that kind of pain it, it, it can bring toxicity to the connection and then you have to disconnect the the twin flame journey is an alchemical process okay the process of alchemy being you separate the ingredients the twins you separate the ingredients you purify each individually before recombining but you don't just do that process one time that's why with twins, you could break apart, come back together, break apart, come back together. Because it's it's a purification process, not necessarily over time, because time is a construct that we buy into, but spirit doesn't. It's, it's just a, this leapfrog process of we come together, we're not aligned, we break apart, we purify individually, come back together. It's a little better, but there's still some issues here break apart, purify, come back together. That's the alchemical process here. Okay. So now it's, now it's the whole, oh, I get it. I now get it. Let us start over. Okay. Let us start over. Show me the three of pentacles. I don't get this is the first time this has happened between you. Knight of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Justice. Oh, Libra Energy. Do we have to learn something new? <laughs> hey, I feel like you don't know where they went to. Anything else about Justice specifically? Okay, Empress. <laughs> it's a lot, but we'll read it. I feel like you've tried searching for her. Here, okay. There's there's a denial of divinity here. So it's like, I feel like you went searching for her, but she's not the same anymore. She has evolved. She has changed. Here, okay. I'm also getting like a little bit of anger of not being able to access or locate her. Okay. Okay, let's see. To use this one. Okay, we'll use this one. Let's see what's going on with this feminine. Show me the Wheel of Fortune, please. All of the changes. Ah, so you provided a stroke of destiny or karma for this person to learn, for this soul bond, whether twin, soul, whatever. 
um, Emperor's card of Taurus and Libra once again. So she is actually aware of her soul evolution and the catalyst this connection was to for her to evolve to a higher plane of existence. Because you're coming up as the King of Pentacles. She is now the Empress. She is a different person now. Okay. Um, so this, this connection was to serve as a catalyst uh, for soul evolution. Sure, of the both of you, she has officially achieved hers. She has officially achieved hers. Show me the Six of Pentacles. There's that two of Wands again. So she took a minute to decide where it is, what it is she's going to do. Three of Swords twice. This really hurt her. With the Nine of Swords. This really, really hurt her. Um, she took her time to decide what choice she was going to make. She didn't want to leave this behind. She didn't want to leave this behind because she knew what it was. She knew what it was. Show me the three of swords at the bottom here, please. Magician, Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. She, oh God, that, that, that hit my heart. Wow. Ouch. Okay. Um, she, she knew, she knew that this manifestation was inches away from happening. That's, that's part of why it hurts so much. Her becoming your queen of pentacles to your king of pentacles here was quite literally inches away because it was beyond right on the other side of the thin, thin veil. Correct. Okay. All you had to do was just reach out and say yes. And then poof, it would have been there. She knew that. That's why it hurt that much. Because you, your connection has come all whatever way, all whatever long way or short way, whatever it was, where the energy picked up. Okay, the two, the two of your energies when they would come into contact, it's like it would materialize a little more. A little, and it's like it was finally going to hit that threshold where it was going to pop into existence. And it was completely lost. That's a lot of pain. That's a lot of pain. Okay. Does Sagittarius still want this feminine? You think it's over. Mm. Still want to reconnect though. Oh, so there's, there's an indication here of reconnecting with this feminine once they have, uh, estab established themselves. Once they have established themselves, there's, oh, okay. Um, so if she's into something that's going to get her some sort of public recognition where she may have to stand up and talk about something she's created like say for example she published a book and it got picked up and it's now bestseller right if she now has to talk do um book signings things like that and everything where she is the one in recognition where she has to talk it looks like that's the opportunity where a conversation is going to happen in the meantime in your mind sag this is over so I'm going to head over to the extended and then I'm going to see what's going on with her. Since you are convinced a conversation is going to happen when she's at a, in a, in a better place. Um, I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below, and I'll see you guys over there. Bye.